Welcome to a day in my quarantine life. So since starting quarantine, I've been going through all of my old stuff and I found my DS. This is the original Nintendo DS, including the best game ever. Anyway, since it's so nice out, I decided I'm gonna go for a little hike, walk situation. Luckily where I live, it's kind of rural. That's so hard to say, rural. So I can easily go get on a trail and be secluded and get my exercise and be outside. That's what I'm gonna do today. So I'm back for my little walk. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of schoolwork because I have two papers to do on, oh gosh, the days blend together. <laughs> Even though I have literally all the time in the world to finish my work, I like to set aside time to get it done so I can prioritize it and make it the best it can be and get it in just so I'm not stressed at all. So that's what I'm doing right now. You know what time it is? It's craft time. Today we're going to be learning how to make a beautiful mask like this one. You're going to need a bandana or anything that's 100% cotton, an iron or a straightener because I couldn't find mine, scissors, a roller, and needles and thread or a sewing machine. So first of all, double up your fabric so it's two layers. You're going to be measuring out the dimensions of 9.5 and 6.5. And and this will be the main part of your mask that covers your nose and your mouth. So at the end you should have two rectangles the same size. Next, you're going to be making the strings that will tie around your head to keep that baby on your face. If you don't want to make strings like this, you can totally use elastic, you can use clean shoe strings, whatever you want, but the dimensions are on the screen if you want to do it this way. And if you decide to do it this way, you're going to want to make those edges nice and crisp, so you're going to fold them up like a little burrito, like this. One, two, three. Fold it up and give it a nice press either under your iron or your straightener. Honestly, the straightener works really well for this. I don't know. I use my foot too. <laughs> All right, so you should have your mask, your main mask part, and your four tying devices, whatever you decide those to be. Stack your fabrics and get ready for the hardest part of this, making the folds. These folds allow you to stretch the mask over your face and it looks cool. <laughs> I don't really know what else to say about this. This part is so hard. I literally redid this like five times. See? Redoing it, but you'll get it. You want to make three nice folds, and if they're even, it looks better and it works better. So try to get them as even as you can. You're going to want to pin them down and then run your iron or your straightener over it to get nice and crisp folds. Look at that. Wow. So now you're going to work on getting everything sewed up. You can again hand stitch all this or you can use a sewing machine. You're going to want to go over all of your tying devices and then start stitching them into the corners of your mask. So sandwich them in there and stitch them to the main part of your mask. So the very last step of this process is actually sewing both of those rectangles together. I like to make my edges nice and clean so the edges don't fray. I will fold over each little corner and sew them down. This just looks better, in my opinion, and the frays don't get everywhere, so if you're gonna do it, you can iron it, or you can just hold it down like I'm doing. It's kind of hard, but just make sure those folds are still in place, and stitch her down, and then you're gonna have a nice, crisp line. Look at that. That's beautiful. So we're gonna do that on all the sides, and then we're about done. Guys, we made a mask together. That's really nice. So here it is. Put it like this over your ears. It's like in my eye right now. Tie it, and then with these folds, you can pull it down to wherever you need it to go. Boom! Look at that! Cute, effective, lovely. If my tutorial did not help you, you can always search how to make a mask, how to make a face mask on YouTube. I got this pattern from the New York Times. I'm going to link it below. Back to the vlog. Just wave. Hi. Hi, internet people. Internet land. World wide web. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm back. 
I just finished dinner with my family. I'm in my PJs and I'm gonna finish this schoolwork, get it all submitted, and then I'll be done for the night. In honor of Zoom, I thought it was only right to film my outro with my webcam, so here we are. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you want to check out some of my other videos, here is a link to my personal channel. I hope you're all staying safe and getting used to this whole quarantine lifestyle that we all share now. Some days are harder than others, but I just want you to know I'm right there with you, and we can get through this. I promise. Stay strong, Temple. I'll see you soon.